Hey everybody, I'm Modi Apparatus, and welcome to a look at a game called Crown Trick. This is a turn-based roguelike RPG, roguelite elements. Uh, we're entering a labyrinth that moves as you move, where mastering the elements is the key to defeating enemies and uncovering the mysteries of this underground world. This is a really cool game. It came out back in October. I missed it when it came out, but I wanted to take a look at it because I, I just got turned on to it by viewer Hytemis. And he said it was a really cool game and I should check it out. So I'm doing that right now. It seemed pretty neat. I've tried the beginning of it here so I can just see what it's like. And uh, it is cool. It seems very cool. It is on Steam. You can buy it there. It's on sale right now until January 5th. So you don't have a lot of time to act on this, but it's about, let's see, four bucks off the usual price if you buy it uh, right now. Anyways, let's get into Crown Trick and we'll see what it's all about. Up. Wake up. For you are chosen. For the dawn will not grace her presence those who refuse to open their eyes. Oh god, that's the way I word that. Who's there? Is the crown talking to me? We're on the fringe of nightmares. Space to interact. It was fate that led you to this realm. Now come forward, L. Ellie? Say Ellie. How do you know my name? At least you are cautious. Hopefully, the ignorance will become tolerable with time. We are currently in the realm of nightmares. Here I am what humans consider omniscient. I know everything about you, Ellie. Your name, your past, even the purpose of your little trip to this realm. Nightmares have brought forth disasters and chaos. As creatures on Earth suffer in endless agony, the world itself is on the brink of destruction. As the chosen hero, you are the one they dumped all the responsibilities on. You are the one destined to venture into the unknown and save the whole world. How do you know all this? Are you in charge of this nightmare realm? Are you the one causing the pain and suffering for the people? So eager to arrive at erroneous conclusions. How typical of your kind. You are in the presence of the observer and guardian of the nightmare realm. I possess no true name, but you may refer to me as the crown. Sorry if I was quick to judge, but it seems like I have an impor important work ahead of me. And if you're really what you claim, you must have an idea of the culprit behind all this. Indeed, the nightmares are caused by none other than one of your own, someone whose heart is filled with greed. A human by the name of Vlad. And do you know where he is right now? Patience, girl. Impulsiveness will only lead to failure. It all started with the forbidden sacrificial rite performed by Vlad in the Nightmare Realm. With its seals broken, the power of Nightmare runs rampant, causing death and destruction not only in Nightmare Realm, but in your world as well. My powers can no longer contain it. From what I see, you are woefully unprepared as well. Is there nothing we can do? Does it mean the world's beyond saving? I can accept the crowd's offer, decline the crowd's offer. I'm gonna decline. See ya. I think I'm okay. There's no way I can verify any of what you just told me. You could be lying. Suspicion that stems from lack of knowledge is, but the same as ignorance. Without my help, you won't be able to even leave this place. <sighs> so I don't have a choice, except the crown's offer. I suppose I could use some help. It's not like you're giving me any other choice. How impressive. That's the wisest thing you've said since you entered this realm. Now put uh, me on, if you don't mind. Let us depart at once. Okay, we have worn the crown, for better or worse. Curious, it seems your body has absorbed every single drop of power I've provided for you. What? What did you put in me? Such fleeting faith. How fickle the human heart is. Worry not, silly girl, for I have no intention of doing you any harm. I've simply cast a few spells to further facilitate our journey. You'll understand in due time. If you say so. Let us go forth. The fate of both realms now rests within your hands. Okay, we're off. So, we have uh, tapping to move forward one, and then Time moves with us. So that was the important thing there. The Nightmare Realm is a different reality operating different rules from your world. Here, time is relative. It will flow only when you move, so take your time. Sometimes waiting for the enemies to approach can be smarter than foolhardy attacks. This is the most fundamental rule of the Nightmare Realm. You would do well to remember it. I've prepared some simple me mechanisms ahead. Let's see how well you do. So, Nightmare Realm operates a turn-based system. Traps and enemies will remain stationary until Ellie makes a move. So we can skip a turn, get forward like that. So it's teaching us to skip turns here. Get things in the right position before we move. That's what that's all about. Which I guess is the most fundamental thing about this game, probably. Success, we unlocked the novice treasure chest. And we got ourselves a Spear of the Defender. It doesn't seem like you're strong enough to handle any real weapons yet. So here, let me help you with it for now. First objective, break those crates ahead so we can keep moving forward. So attack like that.
All right. So now we got to be careful how much we're moving. Attack. Attack. Stun can't perform an action. So we stunned him with the two attacks there. Uh, can I break these things? Oh, no. I have to kill these guys with this. I got hit there first. Looks like after two hits, they, they break their stun, though. Remember, they can also change directions in place. It's sometimes a better option than actually actual movement. So I don't want to fall off the edge here. So I want to hold a shift and press S and go like that. So really, you have to be calculating, right? You have to like plan your moves. Take your time. Don't rush it. There's no need to in this game. It's all turn-based. Which is kind of like the true roguelike fashion, right? In an actual ballot battle, valid strategy to wait in place to do an empty swing to force the flow of time. Enemies have no choice but to initiate the battle after by approaching you. Attack them once they're in range. Okay, so I can hit X, or I can skip turn. So I can do that. And once he's close enough, hit him. And then break. Skipping your turn can sometimes force the enemy to approach, giving you the advantage of attacking first. And he had a lot of health, but I got it. What else we got? Here's something you might find helpful. Breaking enemies will make attacks against them more effective. You can reduce the breakpoint of enemies by dealing damage to them. When an enemy's breakpoint reaches zero, they will be stunned and receive more damage from hits. So he has a th three. It's reduced by one point when enemy takes damage. On enemy breaks, it reaches zero. They become stunned. It takes more damage. So he actually got hit there. Why did he get hit for two though? Because he was at he was at three and he was at two. Now he's down to zero. Oh, I wonder if it's because this is a staff, right? So it's attacking forward two spaces when I attack. It looks like it's going forward. So if, if if he's here, he gets hit twice. My spear actually goes forward. I like that. We'll we'll do a little experiment with that. So that's one. That's two. Just like that. So I have to hit him from this distance. And then I can get him each time. Yep, that is that is exactly what's happening here. It's happening very fast. But he's definitely getting hit twice by it. It seems like there's a set amount of damage. Unless there's criticals in the game. It seems like it's a set amount of damage. And the enemy is vulnerable when it's charging or being... Enemy, the enemy is more vulnerable when it's charging or being around you. Okay. They can You can break them quicker. So when an enemy displays that, they take two points of uh, break. And that takes three. So this guy will take two right now. And I'll break him. And he doesn't stand a chance. Nice. And he gets stunned for like two turns then. Seems like this will be pretty cool. What do we have here? This bottle contains water from the fabled healing fountain. So sip from this elixir will do wonders for your vitality. Both your HP and MP will be replenished from elixir usage. Okay, so I'm not going to use that just yet, though. I'm not with that much damage. Hold F to use it. I'm not going to... I get the idea. I'm not going to do it, though. Thank you. Okay. First floor conquered. Let's go on. When enemy is broken, Ellie's... Ellie's break gauge will gradually fill up. The fuller the gauge is, something, something, something. Seems like it'd be good information to have. And we got our first item. These are called blink boots, which allow you to move specific to specified location instantly. However, their usage is limited. Plan it well. Blink will not consume any turns. Available blink usages are shown via the blink gauge displayed under Ellie. So that's this three thing here. I wonder how fast it replenishes. Looks like it came back. So blink is useful when I need to create across gaps. So right click and then left click to blink. And it doesn't cost me any... Uh... It doesn't cost me any turn to do that, which is great. Instant, instant movement. Elements tiles can also cause negative status effects for enemies. Oh, those poor guys. Oh, you poor guys. A 
Okay, I'm out of blink now. Weak as my powers are right now, I can replenish the energy of your blink boots, though while only while we're here at the fringes of nightmares. You'll be on your own later. Okay, so I have to figure out how to replenish it myself later on. Just wait here for this dude to get burned. And teleport. Nice. Blink again. Nice. And does the blink come back then when I go to a new room? It looks like it does not. Fire breather. Familiars are stronger than normal enemies. Pay attention when you're dealing with them. It looks like my blink... Oh, my blink did come back. I don't know if he did that or not, but... Potent explosive barrel destroyable. When destroyed, it has a series of explosions that cover a 3x3 three three area as well as fire. Let's do this. Well, if, if he takes fire damage, we're in good shape. I don't know if he does. He's weak against water and weak against... He probably doesn't... He probably doesn't take much fire damage. Uh, okay, we gotta... We gotta be careful how he's... What he's doing here. He's chasing at the moment. I, I, I got a good hit on him here. He's broken. Nice. Got him. You successfully unlocked. Are you my master? And we got a fire breather. Not bad at all. Remember, the Nightmare Realm defeated familiars become yours to command. All right. Familiars obtained. The fire breather. So we can do jets. Deal 85 damage to a target in three vertical lines, generating fire. And place an explosive barrel. Same as we just saw a second ago. Cool. So, familiar skills with one or two. Okay, so that's how we use those things. We can place this anywhere within the range, or we can use this to attack forward three spaces. Cool. How often can I activate these things? It costs 30 MP, so I just have to wait for the MP to replenish them. Nice. I'm liking this so far. This is cool. So now I can do a thing for these guys, and this is oil, it looks like, so I can um, do this. And they'll freak out, it looks like. Nice. All right. And that took care of that. And all that's all lit. The teleporter is open. Decent performance, but you still have a long way to go. Don't get cocky. All right. Link across there. And we're out. All right. Victory. Total score, 998. Out of 1,000, that's pretty good. I don't know if it's a thousand. Might have nothing to do with that. Cool. Here we are. What is this place? The Hall of Reincarnation. You may think of it as a safe room in between the realms of nightmares. Impervious to the chaos unfolding outside, here you will be able to travel to other dream realms and resolve anomalies within. How do you propose we do that? There are no doors to the outside. We're basically trapped here. Uncontrolled naivete is the same as ignorance. Do humans dream by entering a door? We will be able to travel unfazed within dream realms by falling asleep. I suggest you try it at this desk in a bit. Okay. Let's look around quick here, though. Let's get a lay of the land. So we have like a stump here. We got some places under construction here. It looks like there's a big area, actually. This is something. It has to be something. Okay. Well, we got we to lay of the land. Let's do this. Okay. Realm of Nightmares. Waking up with the Nightmare Realm by all by yourself, Ellie encounters a strange crown claiming to be the guardian of nightmares according to him disasters are affecting both realms it can be traced to some villain named duke vlad the duke is now lying low somewhere within the nightmares defeating him seems to be the only way to bring peace to both realms all right let's take a little nap i don't have arms either i'm not using them or i don't have them i don't know elemental defense reduces incoming damage from elemental aspect attacks and elixir hold f we knew all that stuff all right, let's do another level. So, we have our choice of weapons. We have the Spear of Orange Star. Receive normal buff from continuously dealing normal attack damage. Receive the damage received debuff from continuously receiving normal attack damage. Crit damage 20%. Same as the other spear we had. 23. And here we have a Axe of the Berserker. Each attack that hits the target will also deal damage to the three tiles behind them. So each attack that hits the target will also deal damage to the three tiles behind them. When you, you blink, you have a 5% chance to consume no blink uses. Oh, that's interesting. Less damage, but it has an attack pattern like this, and it sounds like each attack hits the damage three tiles behind them, so it, was, it would have a bigger range too. Let's try this out. 
All right, so we got that out, and we can take the familiar we have. We don't have any other ones unlocked, so we'll take our fire breather with us. I see. We can have more than one. We can have the two. And this will be kind of fun. Once we have like more things to unlock and play with, um, we can uh, do more stuff. And a little bit randomized, a little more, more, more roguelike. Okay, so he's idle. Um... Whenever you break an enemy, you'll be able to absorb part of its power to channel it to you. If you can somehow break another enemy before the power diminishes, you'll be able to keep the circuit, if you may, running and accumulate more velocity and power. Not only will it be stronger, but your blink boots will be punched as well, okay? Therefore, it is a mutual benefit to have enemies con consecutively broken in battle. Fight as hard as your human body allows, girl. Oh, I see. So when the enemy gauge is broken, Ellie's, Ellie's break gauge will gradually fill up. The fuller the gauge is, the higher Ellie's attack will be. be Blink usages can also be replenished by filling the break gauge. So this is fill, refills their blink usages. Which I believe might be helpful in certain situations. So I'm going to kill this guy first. I'm going to see if I can aggro this dude. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to break him. And I'm going to go here and break him. That's two. So it doesn't go away completely. It's just a matter of how much I break it simultaneously. I see. All right. Well, that's good to know. I've refilled it once then. Let's see what these guys are going to do. He's broken already. Damn. So it goes, it stays up to 100% plus for four turns then. Wow. Okay. That's actually a long time. Especially if I have blinks to use, I can get around very easily. What do we got here? Uh, we have a cutting edge. When attacking enemies with less than 25 HP, increase damage dealt by 20%. Sure. Just so you know, I'll be constantly monitoring your status during the journey and record everything you see within different dream realms. If you forget anything, just come to me. Only by constant learning can we reach our goal. So, character info I. So I can find out what those relics do if I forget. I have an encyclopedia here. It tells me all about all the different things I've seen. Cool. Like it. All right, let's move on. These contraptions are called waypoints. They're the most common in the Nightmare Realm. They will be ready for use when lit lightened. Using waypoints can save us a lot of time during our journey. Choose a waypoint and teleport to the Cosmic Corresponding Room, okay? How do I teleport across this, though? Oh, I, I see. I just do it like this. That's how I do it. So now I can explore down this way and then teleport back to that when I need to. Monument of Dreams, interaction available. Touch this monument to gain access to distant dreams. Okay. Book of Wishes. From afar, you see a mystical tome floating idly above a stone pedestal. When you, as you approach open you and open the tome, the handwriting starts to magically appear on the first page. Write down what you desire the most here. For a small price, your wish will con can certainly come true at some point. Would you like to write down your wish? Wealth, lose 200 gold, but however, when you confirm the Book of Redemption, you'll be able to gain 1,200 gold. Needs 200 gold. I don't have that much, do I? Uh, Constitution, get, lose max HP, but when we encounter the Book of Redemption, max HP will increase by 90. So it's taking a debuff right now, and then we get a little benefit later. Tack down 10 makes everything going to be a little, little harder to deal with, but we get a double attack back later. Max HP, MP down. Skill power down. I, I'm kind of tempted to do the HP down. All right. Book of Wishes. I write it down in there. I take a maximum HP loss of 30. And then later on, it becomes better. Cool. I dig that. It's a fun way of doing it. Risk reward type stuff. Always good. Although familiar skills in Blink have proven to be helpful, you might hesitate to use them sometimes when you're low on MP or Blink usages. 
it is perhaps human nature to worry about the, without reason. Fear not in my presence. For I will fully replenish your MP and blink usages every time you enter a battle in a new area. Focus on defeating the enemies in front of you instead. Okay, cool. So every new room, your MP and blink usages will be automatically replenished when first entering the battle for the first time within a room. Okay. So this is going to make the battles much more interesting then. I want to get these guys, but I want to put them in range. I want to do... I can't hit that thing without setting it off. I want to avoid this guy for now. That works. And what is this guy? Clearer of ways. He's weak against fire. He's not going to go into the fire willingly, though. Oh, he actually will. Okay, he's got... I can do double on this guy, though. Break him now. Oh, that's fine. He successfully unlocked pocket change, whatever that means. Okay. So that was a good test of seeing what my uh, blink and everything can do. Let's see if I can do something with these curtains. Just testing. Just seeing what environmental things I can do. Like this here, is this something? Yeah, let's make sure. I'm, I'm warning you to not come closer. I have poison, poison that can melt your bones or brains, or bones in your brains. Let's do this. Cause he doesn't like that. Ooh, what's this? Time piercer. Attacks will not immediately da deal damage. Instead, explosions will be triggered in a three by three square area in the direction of the attack one turn later. Interesting. Increased crit chance by 5%. So it's a delayed attack. I fire it out and then explosions happen afterwards. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to do it. Let's see how that goes. That's crazy. I love it. I got to like plan ahead though. Thanks a bunch. You know somewhere safe around here? Please take me with you. I'm sure my skills can be useful somehow. All right. You've been successfully unlocked the rescue alchemist. Okay, what do you do? Got a blueprint for canned air. Looks like a blueprint to me. Is this blueprint for a relic? Do we need a specific blacksmith for these? Don't forget that we're in a realm of dreams and fiction. Certainly, certain anomalies result from the malleability of fabric from within this world is constructed. There's a special recovery device next to the merchant in the dream realm dimensions. Hand in your blueprints there and things will appear in your next dream or nightmare. Who knows? Okay, do I like this weapon enough to continue with it? There's a lot I have to plan for with this one. Thanks a bunch. Yep, let's go with this. Go, come, come with me. So this is a safe room here. All right, what do we got here? We got a weapon lock. Summon a random weapon. Sure. Headhunter. Oh, that sounds like fun. 10% chance to render enemies immobile for three turns. Oh, that's fun. Axe of Salty Waters. This looks like a green level, like rarity. Um, does 20 plus two. So uh, this is two more damage than I'm doing right now. Um, and 4% magical damage. Apply drenched to all attack targets. Drenched is, it looks like a water attack. Which might not be good if I have fire spells. Blade of the Unforgiven. Attacks will shoot out a tempest of four tiles. As far as four tiles. Forward HP. Forward HP is at 100%. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Um, I think I might do the Headhunter, though. Immune to Drenched and Greasy. Or we do this one. What's this one? I'm kind of interested how a ranged weapon would go. Let's try it out here. Okay. All 
I have to reload. Oh, that's kind of that's I didn't realize that, but that's expected. Oh, I couldn't get out of the way of that one. Avoiding that pretty well. Uh, I can't do anything. I can get him with this though. Oh, I can't reload though. There's a break. I should have blinked out of the way. Next time, next time it happens, I'll do that. Nice. We're doing okay. The blink is going to save me from taking damage on this guy, I think, a little bit. I think if I fire now, though, I'm going to take some damage. There we go. Can't hit him at the moment. Ouch. Ouch. Nice. Nice. Did it. Scroll of Earthquake summons three randomly placed earthquakes size of three by three square. Oh, yeah, let's do it. What you've picked up certainly will help us in the future. I keep referring to day. Okay. Uh, interact with this. Uh, pick up a random relic. All right, we have the critical strike. Like, Ring of Critical Strike. When an enemy without crit critting, obtain a 5% crit chance buff. This buff is stackable. Will be removed when you crit occurs. So it's like increases our crit chance. I like that. Metronome, when continuously using the same skill, reduce the MP cost by the skill up by 20%. Interesting. And uh, if undamaged during this turn, your crit will be decreased, increased by 20% lasting one turn. Okay. So if, in, if undamaged during this turn, my crit chance is up by 20%. Otherwise, this guy stacks crit until I crit. I think I like that one better. Let's do it. And what's this? Volatile power powder. Deals minor lava damage within one tile. 5x5 five five diamond area leaving a pool of lava. That seems like dangerous for me to do, but... Uh, can I re can I reload? There we go. So I hope I can reload. We got a chicken. The swash clucker. Backstep strike. Shift backwards two tiles and shoot a boomerang forwards dealing 50 wind damage. And then sh swallow flip. Instantly launch four attacks on target within two vertical tiles dealing 17 physical damage each. Cool. I have enhanced, enhanced your capability so you may use the skills of two familiars at once. This way we have a better shot at defeating Vlad. So I have three and four now, too. A lot going on. This is basically endless possibilities, though, which is exactly what I want from roguelike games. Uh, let's do this. What do we got here? Familiar crystal? Okay, this is just to set up another uh, familiar. And this is another teleport spot. Let's go down this way. Oh boy. That's a nice thing to drop that for me. Let's do, let's see what three does. Backstep strike, it's to forward, backwards two tiles and deal four damage forward. Uh, what's this guy do? It's two damage in front of me. Four attacks on targets within two vertical tiles dealing 20 to physical damage. Okay. Let's burn this guy. Is he burning? Let's see. Receive fire damage equal to 8% of your max HP every time. Oh, okay. I don't think he's getting hit by that. Unstable reinforced shield. I 
can't hit him, but I could blink away. He has a shield, and mobile and able to move when he has a shield up. Still on a cooldown. He's a new familiar. All right, let's just um, try to get this guy. That might work a little bit. Let's avoid damage by going there. I have one more blank. Put some space in between us. There we go. Broke him. Um, I can't do much else besides this, maybe. There we go. It's nice for this weapon because it requires a reload, so I can just reload. I can use my other skills for attacking when I don't have another option. If somebody's close to me and I can't fire it, maybe. So, Blade of the Unforgiven. This is the one that attacks Shootout Tempest as far as four tiles when I'm, my HP is 100. I'm not going to have an HP at 100 anytime soon, so we're going to stick with what we have there. Uh, here we have the Relic Lock. Someone's a random relic. Uh, let's see. We have a miniature typhoon. Deal wind. Whenever we deal wind damage, there's a 10%, 20 percent chance to create a miniature typhoon, which will move forward every turn. Deal damage. We do have a wind move now. The effect of your elixir is raised by 50 percent, or there's a 30 percent crit damage. You deal. There's a 30 percent chance the crit damage you deal with the crit strike will be increased by that much. Let's do this. All right. I do have that potion. I'm sure I'll take it now. Let's pick that up as well. Let's head over to this. Do we want to add him in? Let's see what he's got. He's got a missile guard. Summon a random, summon a ranged servant. A chance to summon elite ranged servant. Only one servant can exist at a time. And uh, fire shield. Apply shield of flames for, for yourself and all minions. Instantly obtaining a 40 HP shield. While the shield is active, all attacks, attacking enemies will be scorched. Um, do I want that instead of the fire breather? Is the only one I'd probably replace. Let's do it. Let's see how that goes. Even though I do use the fire quite a bit. There's money to be had here, so we'll do it. Alright. Looks like I have four blink now. I guess I can have more than three blink. I thought it was, um, limited, but I guess not. Let's go this way. Let's go up here. Oh, that's a big door. Let's take a look at the other direction here. I don't know if I'm ready for the big door. <laughs> I got my break up. I got an extra blink now. Oh, it looks like I can just walk through things to break them. I don't have to, like, shoot everything. Which is nice. Cool. Alright, so that's broken. Okay, I guess we're ready for whatever the giant is, like... I guess it's a boss door. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Using firearms, hold the button to reload. Okay. Our assaults what seem to work. Tria. So this is a toxic magic sphere. Poison infused vanishes when the cooldown is reached, doing a three by three of poison. Okay. Can I see what this cooldown is? So she took fire damage there.
I don't have anything to turn these to my advantage. These grease, this grease uh, elements here. Let's do three. Okay, so she's going to attack. So she's close to me. I still have my shield up, so she will take damage on that. Um, I can do... She has eight breaks still, though. Gosh, okay. I reloaded there. Um... Normal attack, that's fine. Do a normal attack. Unless I get away from her like this. To get out of range of those things. Hope I got some mana back there, that's good. I can do this now though. Break her, and then... Reload. And then attack. 30. I'm not doing much damage at all. Holy cow. It's, uh, this is 61 wind damage if I do this one. Get some space there. Let's do let's regular attack. Regular attack. Reload. All right, I think we're still just regular attacking. Reload that. Uh, there's not a good spot to stand. I guess I go here. Can't hit her from here though. No, I can. Ooh, that's a lot of poison. Okay. My MP's back. I can put my minion in between us though. Will I hit my own minion if I hit fire right now? I won't. Good. Do I blink away or do I take the normal damage? Ouch. All right, now we got a chance to break again. There we go. I think we just keep going here. MP back. Let's put another distraction down here. We're doing okay here. This, this guy's this distraction is doing pretty well. Now I'm in a situation here though. Or I'm gonna take normal damage from her. It's like 20 points though. Ouch. I need to reload now, okay. I do have blink though. I could put some space between us. Let's do this. We're getting there. Nice break. Here we go. Got her. Unlocked pistol. New weapon type discovered. Pistols can be obtained during adventures. 
Unlock staves. Staves can now be attained during adventures. Unlocked relics. Legendary relics can be unlocked and obtained from now on. On many other adventures, warriors that before you left left a mark in this world. Their legendary weapons are scattered across the Nightmare Realm. If you don't like your current weapon, there are plenty to choose from. To face vicious enemies, you have to choose your weapons carefully. Various rare relics are hidden across the Nightmare Realm, left by warriors of the past. If they really are that precious, wouldn't we try to return them to their owners? It's been decades or even centuries since their visit. They don't think it's necessary anymore. Use them in your fight against the power of the Nightmare. In their original purpose of existence, after all. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. All kinds of cash. In the training grounds, fragments permeate different... Uh, dream realms filled with nostalgia and wistfulness doesn't seem like there's any actual use to them. All right. What is this about? This is a lot of reading. Let's let's leave it off for now. Let's come back to that later. So we have a pistol of lightning. A rapid fire attack will be electrified. Ten percent chance to paralyze enemies when hit. Attacks they'll never miss. I didn't know no attack could miss. And this one is the everlasting. Staff of everlasting youth. Using items will restore your HP. Immune to drenched. 22 damage. Same as this one. With a bit, a bit, a bit more magic damage. Only two range of attack there, though. This one's more fun, I think. I don't know if it's better or not, though. Pick that up. Stat scroll. Grow a stat. Okay, cool. Um, I can either grow, grow attack skill or skill power. Do that. Confirm. Okay. And I think that's it then. Let's fire this off and see what's like. All right. Advanced relic lock. Cool. Ooh. Horn of critical strike. Hit skills will also be able to crit. Okay. When you deal a crit critical hit on an enemy, they'll receive one random elemental status condition. Ah, that's kind of fun. Using a seal, there's a 25% chance to recast the ability on the same target. Nice. Let's do this one. I like this better. Cool. Some big chances for some things. I think I might like the range this one better. So it fires two shots in the last one. It's got three rounds. But it fires two rounds in the last hit. So the last one's more of a crit, I think. Or better, better, more damage on it. Well, that's interesting. Well, we'll try it. Let's see what this is about. I can't take that broom. All right, let's go down one more floor. I'm probably going to wrap up the episode here, though. Because we're all running long on this episode here. I hope you guys like this, though. I, I quite enjoyed this one. Um, I might keep playing it. Um, I might bring back this uh, or another roguelike uh, for this coming weekend. So be sure to check that out. If you're interested in seeing more of this, let me know down below in the comments. Leave likes and that kind of thing. If you guys enjoyed this content, be sure to subscribe. and do all kinds of different indie games and mostly roguelikes, I would say. So if you're into that kind of thing, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification so you know when I go live for streams and that kind of thing and post new videos. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this one, and I'll be back for more next time. See you then.